So speaking of viewer comments, questions, we've had a couple come in that we wanted to address Mm -hmm. tonight. Sasha, do you want to take one for me? Sandrine Marquis, my question on net neutrality is, what will happen if my internet service provider wants to offer me a VoIP service with QoS for a few bucks a month? Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm using QoS on a daily basis on our corporate networks and providers, too. All right. So here's the thing. Okay. For those of you who don't know, QoS is quality of service. So that is where when I pick up my phone, which is using voice over IP, or when I'm using Skype for a video conference, it will slow down the other things on my network, such as somebody BitTorrent downloading or uh, watching Netflix. It will slow those things down so that the phone call does not get interrupted because I have used quality of service to tell my network that this phone call takes precedence over something that's a little less high priority. So that's a great thing. Now, here's what I think, Sandrine, and this is my opinion. Uh, My co-host can can reiterate or um, rebuttal uh, me here. I think that that is something that should be uh, handled internally. Let's put it that way. So let me explain. So a firewall This is a device that I put on my network that allows me to block certain types of activity from taking place through my network connection to the internet. So if I want to allow people, including myself, to remote into my desktop and access my desktop computer, or if I want to allow them to SSH into my computer, I have my own physical firewall that allows me to log into that, make those changes, and set that up. That's my prerogative to do it. Where it goes wrong is when an ISP puts a firewall on their network that I do not have control over, where I cannot say, I will allow SSH connections, and they're saying, no, you won't. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to allow you to connect to remote desktop protocol because we have a firewall in place. You can't change that setting. That's where people start using VPN tunnels, and uh, we hear about governments that, that block access to certain types of content. And those kinds of things, it, that's where net neutrality says, you know what, the ISP cannot do that. That is not cool. So instead... If I want to put a firewall in-house, I can do that. If you want to put QoS in-house, you can do that. You can control your own QoS, but don't. Don't let the ISP control the quality of service themselves because I don't want an ISP making the decision of what services take priority. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Yes. Sandrine, thank you very much for the question.